pit now over to my traps I got set out. I got a couple live traps set out. Uh, we done one on our hunt. We had a real good hunt. I was real impressed with my young dog tonight. As you notice in the uh, clip just before this one, she's really doing some good tree in there and everything. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I didn't have enough bullets, put it this way, just to get the coon out, but that was all right. <clears throat> but she really, really did a good job on uh, tree and that coon. Uh, I just want to talk a little bit while I am a night here about live trapping. This is some stuff I've learned, experience in live trapping. I sure ain't no this professional live trapper and all this, but I can tell you this here just by good old fashioned experience. Uh, if you go check your live traps, I know a lot of people wait until the next day to check them. That's not a good thing to do. Uh, if you let a coon get trapped, and he stays in the live trap all night. To start with, I'm gonna go backwards a little bit and tell you a little bit about live trapping. I don't trap coon to kill him. I trap coon to allow my young dog that I'm raising to be trained by him. Uh, let him smell him, tree him, and then take him out during the daylight and I turn him out. <clears throat> and I'll be showing some clips on that when I ever get a live one trapped. I'll be showing some clips <clears throat> on that. I don't kill him. A lot of people said, I don't understand why you don't kill them for. Well, uh, I believe in the sport to be the dog versus coon. And it ain't too far for the coon when you take them out there and you uh, trap them. When you go out there and you trap them and you trick them, uh, he, he deserves a chance like everything else. Now, if my dog goes out there and he tracks them and trees them, then yeah. Uh, in some cases, we'll kill them. If it's for chicken farmers, we'll shoot them out. Uh, <clears throat> but normally what we do is, like I said, you'll see in the clip, we'll fool with the dogs a little bit, let them tree on them, let them bark on them. Uh, like I said, a great pointer, and, and then turn them loose. And if the, lo, most, most of the times, the young dogs will never tree them. They'll just chase them. But if you do tree them, we don't shoot them out. We'll let them, we'll let them live because that's they got trapped. And to me... Uh, I, I believe in, in good, honesty, old-fashioned, traditional coon hunting. And if I'm going to do that, I'm going to do it the right way, and I'm going to let the coon have the benefit of the doubt. Also, on the on the live trapping, uh, before you, as as of right now, I'm getting ready to go in the woods. It's uh, approximately 8.45 in the, in the p.m., and uh, I'm going to go in the woods and check my trap. The reason why you do not want to leave the trap in the woods all night long is because you have a lot of coyotes and if you let a coon get trapped by the time daylight rolls around the coyote's going to find a coon and he's going to tear your trap all to pieces uh i've learned that by my own experience now nobody ever told me that nobody ever gave me that suggestion in live trapping when you live trap around 8 45 9 o'clock you need to check your trap because most of the time a coon's going to feed in between the uh, hours of dusty dawn to around nine or ten o'clock early i know that's that's true for the south so if you live in the north it's whatever time your your feeding time is our feeding time is very early My, you know a lot of times coons are down out of trees by 4 30 5 o'clock just at dusty dusty dawn you know i mean dusty uh sundown like it's just dusty dark getting ready to get dark is when they mostly feed so uh i may not have anything here uh, one more suggestion when you go in the woods when you trap your coon use something sweet uh coon is looking for something more sweet than dead if you put sardines in there you're going to catch uh old cats you know old house cats or wild cats that's, that's been out in the woods turn loose out in the woods people drops cats off or possums they're bad about getting in those traps but I always put my, my main things, a honey bun or a nutty buddy, something like that, uh, something sweet, and they will be attracted to something sweet to get in that live trap. <clears throat> There's all kinds of pointers on live traps. I, I always suggest to uh, check it around 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock. If it ain't there, then you can come back the next morning and check it. <clears throat> also, uh, I suggest to take a gun with you when you go in the woods to trap it. You never know what you might run into. Never know, might want to happen. You just want to load a gun safely. 
uh, ease in the woods, don't carry your dogs in there, just go walk in there quietly and check the trap. That's all I got for right now. If I have anything in the trap, I'll open up the video for you to see it. If not, we'll talk to y'all later. Thanks.